Today I am bringing you the Top Hat Fuzz. So what the Top Hat Fuzz is, is a recreation of the Maestro FC1A Fuzz. So the original pedal actually ran on these 2N270 transistors that are almost impossible to come by. Well, guess what? New old stock. I found them, and I designed a circuit board around them. And what's the chip doing there on an old Maestro pedal? Well, that's actually your voltage inverter. So this thing will run friendly on a pedal board and you won't have to run it off of battery or a positive tip power supply. For, so for those of you out there that know, older effects fuzzes in general, PNP style, especially the germaniums, typically ran off of a positive tip power supply, which means one of two things. Either you have to run it off of a battery or you have to have this special little tip that flips your power supply polarity around so that it can run successfully without killing everything else in your pedal chain. But I went ahead and put the voltage inverter in there. So is it a fully accurate reproduction? Yes and no. Yes, the circuit does match the original, but when you add in the voltage inverter, eh, no, it's my own animal now. But it's still a fairly accurate reproduction of a Maestro FC1A fuzz. So inspired by, we'll call it. But what it is, is a whole lot of fun. So I made a five run of these. I gave one to my very good friend. I kept one for myself and I'm gonna have three of them for sale, but here are some tones. So starting off, here's my Strat, clean tone, Victory V40, running through two Celestian Vintage 30s for my Modulation section, I have my Strymon Big Sky, my Strymon Timeline. Run them with a little bit of Echoplex and some reverb. And other than that, I'm just using my Fender American Strat, so. We'll go ahead and kill the delay. FC1. <laughs> position. So if you can hear the clicking in the background, that is my grounding system in my house. It's not the pedal, I assure you. That's why when you switch to the fourth position, it cancels it. So what I'm finding with this pedal is it's a whole lot of fun to play with the fuzz way up and just get aggressive fuzz tones. But what's even more fun is to dial the fuzz way back, turn it off, crank the volume all the way up, bring the fuzz in real slowly right at the edge. compression. A lot of fun to play around with. So with these pedals, I did leave 
the transistors relatively unbiased. So you're going to bias them yourself by using your volume and your fuzz control. So you find your sweet spot and how much you want. Get the volume way down. And you can crank the fuzz way up. But if you overdo it, squeal like a pig so don't blame me when you do that but feel free to play around with it you're not going to hurt anything i actually like to leave the volume all the way up on them and then bring the transistors in real slow with the fuzz control pretty crunchy sound but use it however you'd like try it with a bass do whatever you want with it a whole lot of fun to play with if you're interested in buying one they'll be up on my reverb page <laughs> 